In this video, I'll show you how to fix SRT subtitles that are out of sync in Premiere Pro. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. In a previous tutorial, I walked you through how you can fix SRT subtitles that are out of sync using Camtasia. Now, in Premiere Pro, it's a little bit different and I'll show you why. So, let's begin by uh, dragging and dropping in our video and our subtitle that is out of sync. So I'll just uh, select both, just uh, drop them into the project section here. And uh, we've imported our video. So I'll just uh, make a new sequence from this. So uh, we'll get a new sequence from this clip. I uh, can just adjust this to this side, move this to this side so that we can see our videos a little bit better. Move this one to this side uh, and then we can zoom in slightly. So. There we have it. We have our audio here. Uh, that is basically our video and audio. Now the only option we have to do is just uh, add our subtitles inside here. You can import from file, but since we just dragged and dropped here, we can just drag and drop to this particular section and a new captions track is going to be created in Premiere Pro. Once I release, uh, there are a couple of options here. Uh, you can choose the format to be subtitle uh, or closed captions, EBU subtitles, etc. We'll stick with subtitle and then uh, if you have a style set or uh, created, you can do that. Uh, next up, the start point. Now, before I actually do this, uh, let me show you some of the scenarios that you might encounter. These subtitles are out of sync and uh, they're out of sync because they are, I know they're out of sync. But if you had your playhead position at this particular section and then say playhead position, the subtitles are going to begin from that particular section. If you say from timeline start, then uh, you're going to move all the subtitles to the beginning. So remember, if you're dealing with source timecode, it means that the SRT subtitle file that you're importing is already timed to the video. And for this particular subtitle we are dealing with, it is timed, but it is out of sync. So I've intentionally created an out of sync scenario so we can see how we can work with that. So let's use source timecode. And just click OK. And once I click OK, you'll notice if I zoom in slightly here at the end, you'll notice that the subtitles go way past the video. And that is why we are getting this transparent screen. So let me show you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go back uh, to the initial section here. And uh, what we notice is we have some blank text and all that. So you can type your caption text here, etc. What I want us to begin with, and uh, it's probably standard uh, when you're working with subtitles in Premiere Pro, is you need to click on one section here and then press on Control A to select all subtitles. And you'll see this section change and you'll also see these subtitles or, or captions here uh, get highlighted. We want to upgrade or add or bump up the font size. Let's add it to about 42. Enter. And then when I click on this, you'll notice that it's it's visible. Now, the one thing that you'll see here is this section, this caption block, when you select it or when you click on it, unlike in Camtasia, in Camtasia, if you just imported subtitles, then when you click on one section, all subtitles are highlighted as a block. Now, in Premiere Pro, each subtitle is just a caption block by itself. So. The one thing uh, that I, I always recommend is when working with subtitles, ensure that you work with the waveform and uh, let's say for this case, where the subtitles begin. So the waveform begins here. And if I play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, you'll notice that the subtitles don't play at all, but the audio is playing. So. This, the uh, subtitle or uh, the subtitle begins somewhere here, this caption block, but the audio begins here. So what we are going to do now is we are going to make sure that we fix this uh, scenario. So what we're going to begin with is we're going to delete this particular box. Let's delete that. And once we delete that, we remain with uh, the caption block where the subtitles begin. Now, if I click on this, and try to move it, it's going to only move as that block alone. Let's undo that. 
So to move this section, because we already know that this section is where the issue happens and every other subtitle is in sync. What you might need to do is you might need to do two things. And this is option one. You might need to press your left click and then select all these captions. That is method one. And once you do that, you notice that the subtitles here are all selected. Method number two is, as I've mentioned in previous tutorials, click on one subtitle there, press on control A and all subtitles will be selected. Next up, I'll need to zoom in and I'm using the plus key. I believe you can use the mouse if I'm not mistaken, if you have a mouse. And then since we want to adjust this to this particular section, what we're going to do here is we're going to move these subtitles and let them snap at that particular section. Now, if I zoom, zoom in slightly, I'll see where they are and then move this here. Uh, let's just see somewhere there. And since they're still selected, I can just click on this and move it. It's not somewhere there. Looks good. We can adjust minus to see everything. And if I play this particular video and uh, we can just uh, look at the screen up here, if I just play it, uh, let's play from this section. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download. The subtitles are now in sync. And that is a scenario where uh, maybe an intro is added to a video that you are creating inside Premiere Pro or somebody accidentally selected when uh, importing uh, the time codes or the subtitles selected maybe at playhead start and so on and so forth. Those are the scenarios. But the one uh, thing that is constant is that the subtitles in question are already accurately timed. It's just that somebody or something happened for them to be out of sync. So that is how you can fix SRT subtitles that are out of sync in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.